Okay, so it's got colon 14 and 1156. However, you can add labels to the unlabeled uh, buttons and that. The play button or the play box was so hard to find. Okay, so we'll be looking at the Adobe Premiere Rush and I know I've looked at it a few times but that is because we have come across different problems per one Yeah, so that is because we have come across some problems each time. So I think the last time actually, the visuals were a little bit dark and I think that was the, because the screen wasn't on the nightlight mode. And I think it is a Android 11 thing because the same thing happened with my Chromebook and the Chromebook does have a Android 11 like interface so I have put the night light mode on and there is also a dark theme mode on this device so but I haven't put the dark theme mode on but the night light mode on this actually tints the screen amber it says so I'm not too sure whether you can see it or not So I remember one of the times as well, I was holding the device upside down and also because of that the app as a result presented differently to me because I can't really see so because the app presented differently to me I thought there was something wrong with the app whereas it wasn't like that at all. But don't get me wrong, there are some things wrong with the app which I will take you through later on. I think back to the upside downness, that was because my rotation app hadn't put the tablet in a reverse landscape and instead had put it in a landscape because there is reverse landscape and there is landscape but unfortunately the rotation thing hadn't put the device into a reverse landscape so when I was reverse when I was using it in a reverse landscape and the app was uh, displaying itself in a landscape manner I thought that you know the apps layout needed to be changed Oh, let's open up Google Assistant. Alright then, so... Yeah, that is that. So Adobe Rush actually is a renowned video editor which is well recognised within the video editing community actually. And I think it is used by amateurs Welcome to my message. Yeah, so I think it is actually renowned in the video editing community and and you know so on and so forth. 
Okay, so it's got colon 14 and 11.56. Well, I do think that the icons on the top are actually small presented. There is a colon 14 and there was talk about this yesterday when I did this review on why it is colon 15 or colon 14 and I think it is because it is 0, 14 or, or whatever and it doesn't show the 0 I do like the fact however it labels the items as you add them and I do think that is a very neat system that it has. I do think that the icons are a bit small, the important icons though that I want to access to enable me to move on. Uh, uh, reached to me actually in the fact that the box where you are supposed to type in your project name I couldn't really find it so uh, that is that it also has or had a prepare media thing earlier, I'm not too sure whether you saw it or not. So one of the things that we were having, one of the problems that we were having was that so many things are unlabeled in this app and that is a real shame because it means that I am able, I am not able rather to use the app to its full potential. However, you can add labels to the unlabeled uh, buttons and that. But that is if you are a talkback user or screen reader user, whatever. As you can see, you've got some more tick boxes as we move to the right of the screen. And these tick boxes on the right hand side like the inspector tools are actually very small in my opinion and they actually need to be made slightly bigger. Like some of the tick boxes which are more spaced out. Yeah, these tick boxes on the left are actually quite small, I think they're smaller than the boxes on the right. So one of the problems I was having with the tick boxes also was that I was having problems finding where the play button is. I'm clicking on one. Clip of dormant disabled. Hmm. This is just terrible, frankly. And it therefore makes things very difficult to use. All right then, so we've got an interesting screen up here now and it's called Submit Feature Request. I am actually going to submit a feature request and actually ask that the buttons be labelled. Oh, no. 
I wasn't expecting it to take me to climb though. Oh, fine. I actually thought that it would be some kind of edit box within the app where you can write whatever you want to write to the app developers as opposed to it taking me to the browser and even when I cut the video temporarily as you probably know the play button or the play box was so hard to find and I really don't know where you can actually find it on unless I really sit down with the app. <laughs> oh well. So I think what we're going to do before we conclude this video though is we're going to have a look at a few more options Oh, settings, okay. So I have not seen this screen before. Edit profile. Two percent. So, regarding Premier Rush actually, There is a mix-up whether Rush is free or not and I think I, I can ensure you or assure you over that it is free. Maybe I ought to label Maybe I ought to add a label to that box. Yeah, so what I am seeing is you got audio, so we're going to click on the audio. Oh wow, maintain audio pitch, not tick, but again you got these tick boxes there. Tool coach mark method. Tool coach mark method. No, go back. Let's click on edit. Oh well. I will share page export with it to export. Share page settings. Oh, oh well. Um, let's conclude this video so in conclusion the Premier Rush is actually awfully hard to use in in my opinion because well, there are quite a few things well there are a few things wrong with the app but my but my main problem is the 
unlabeled buttons so they do need changing to buttons which are unlabeled for tick boxes and actually I would suggest that all the tick boxes uh, get labeled also the tick boxes on the right and left hand sides are too small in my opinion I'm not too sure what you think but they are too small in my opinion and I do think that they need to be made bigger I think the tick boxes on the left more so because they are really small and I actually think that they are smaller than the right hand side which is actually quite worrying because the ones on the right hand side are small enough you also get some tick boxes also which are I think scattered in in different places so again that does get very uh, confusing I do think that the export button should be somewhere else uh, not necessarily the share button but I know editors like the video show actually have a export button as opposed to a share button so again that does need to be that does need to be changed excuse me um but it is a real shame in my <clears throat> In my opinion because if this video editor is actually a renowned video editor it is actually a shame that you know I can't get full use of this out of this editor but um, there we go but I will send this video to the developers depending on the image quality <laughs> so um, again what is that well I hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and I will see you soon.